This is very interesting. We're starting to see purple rosin. I don't know if this is something that is ever really possible. I'm just learning about this now. So as I learn, you're going to learn. But before we even get into that part, let me show you this quick video where it is someone actually making fake purple rosin. Yes, so as you can see, this is very bad. I'm going to show you exactly what they're using to make this. So as you can see right here, this is... Anthocyanin. Supposedly is a class of water-soluble flavoroids, widely presented in fruits and vegetables. But is this okay to be smoked? So as we can see right here, there is articles actually about this. This anthocyanins is the compound that turns cannabis purple and supposedly people are putting this into rosin in order to make it look purple and pff, it doesn't appear as this as if this is a safe way of doing it so let's talk about it so as you can see it says depending on depending on the ph if you give it to a plant it could turn blue black or red or even purple as they obviously said in the beginnings so as you can see here it says the potential health benefits anthocyanin is displayed several potential therapeutic and medicinal benefits including killing cancer cells protecting against diabetes preventing bacterial growth reducing inflammation preventing cardiovascular disease protecting against many other things this definitely seems like it is something that could be very beneficial in a lot of ways but if you were to just add it back in or use a synthetic version of it and put it back into the plant then is there potential for it to be damaging to the consumer that i'm not quite sure about and as you can see in this article they definitely are giving the benefits of it they don't give the other side of the story though so as we can see in the video that i played previously in the beginning this one is clearly something that doesn't appear to be looking like it should be added into this product it definitely looks like this is someone trying to get over on the clients and clearly it is not a good thing. I think that purple hash or purple rosin seems to be something that could be possible. Let's pull up that right now. As you can see right here, there is a lot of stuff that is kind of showing that. A lot of them seem to be very much kind of suspicious to me, like this one right here. I don't think I would ever even want to smell something that looks like that but i don't know at the same time who knows let's see they say so you want to learn how to make purple dabs do you um no i don't i would probably prefer it to look more like a plant and regardless if the if the plant was purple in the first place i know that sometimes there is different reasons why some strains will look purple and usually that is the case when it is light depths which i've done a video on explaining what light depths are i don't want to speak too much on that right now because it's not really necessary but if you're interested in hearing what light depths are go check out my page you will be able to see that one as well but let's get back on track would it be possible for a plant to produce purple rosin maybe but the thing i have to question is rosin or hash is supposed to be the trichomes it's supposed to be the trichomes taken off of the plant of course you could have flower rosin that might look a little bit different maybe a little bit greener maybe a little bit browner maybe purple if it was flower rosin so 
That's something that I have a question about. Is that possible? And why is... Why would it be possible for a plant to produce trichomes that are purple? That just doesn't make any sense to me. So how is it possible for there to be purple hash? It almost seems to me as if it is a automatic sign there is an issue, but I could be wrong. That's why I'm asking the question. Is it possible? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this? Do you think that this is a topic that needs to be covered in greater depth? Or is this a topic that people just need to be aware of at this length and they should just stay away in general?